we've all heard, it's okay, I'm only bleeding. But what makes traumatic injuries so dangerous is bleeding. No matter the cause, at some point in our lives, either we or someone we know will suffer an injury that requires emergency medical treatment. Now, this is a problem that has plagued us forever. Though the use of bandages dates back to the ancient Greeks, today blood loss is still the number one cause of death and disability for people under the age of 44. Now, thanks in part to the development of combat gauze on this very campus, we've become adept at stopping bleeding where we can see it, and that's a good thing. But only recently have we begun to understand why certain treatments work and others fail. And this goes against our idealization of medicine as empirical and well thought out. The reality is that doctors often resort to brute force to stop bleeding. The patient is critical, so the doctors plug the wound, and if they're lucky, the patient lives. But what about internal injuries, where the patient is bleeding and you can't reach the wound? We know that the quicker we can provide treatment, the more likely it is the patient will survive. But our only option is surgery. We need to expose an otherwise hidden wound. Now, uh, getting a patient to surgery takes time and requires the use of clotting drugs. Unfortunately, these clotting drugs can be too strong and can result in a heart attack or a stroke. And this is our Goldilocks dilemma. How do we take a patient that's bleeding and make sure that they clot just right? Well, using a combination of biology, chemistry, and material science, my research seeks to develop smarter treatments that can accelerate the body's own clotting process. We already use nanoparticles to deliver drugs to highly specific sites, and this can limit side effects. What if we could target nanoparticles to minimize the time it takes to reach these hidden wounds? Imagine an injection of particles given to any patient suspected of an internal injury. The drug travels through the bloodstream, finds the injury, and starts treatment immediately. Where an injury has occurred and the body has already begun to clot, this drug accelerates that process. Where there is no injury, there's no clot, no heart attack, no stroke. Now, as uh, the injury gets worse and more blood is lost, this drug is still able to cut clotting time nearly in half. So this will lead to increased survival rates for all traumatic injury patients. My work has already resulted in a patent, and my goal is to eventually provide all emergency medical personnel with this drug. Because we know that if we can reach the wound, then we can treat the patient and targeted nanoparticles can reach hidden wounds much quicker than surgery itself. Ultimately, injuries are a fact of life. With my research, I want to make sure that you live to tell the story. Thank you.